Okay, C. Lindelof videos, TI Inspire cast, um, continuing investigating the blue keys and wondering, can the others do this? Um, so here's just quick stuff. I'm going to do this in less than three minutes. i got to keep moving. One, just at my calculator, blue keys, control, control, nth root. Most calculators, uh, specifically Hewlett Packard and TI-84, I believe, can't, I know the Hewlett Packard can't, but I don't even think the TI-84 uh, can do the nth root. So they do square roots, but they won't do nth roots. So nth root of, fourth root of 64, two square roots of two, and the cast will even give it back to you in symbolic language, which makes me super happy. So keep moving. Uh, also, variable logs. So control, if you go to the log key, remember it's always control and then the blue key is that log there. What's different about this is that you can, you can take, instead of the common log, sorry, instead of the common log, or ln, which most calculators are restricted to, you can take a weird root like log base 3 of, I don't know, 9, and get 2 back, of course. My point is that the other calculators generally can't do this. They can't take that different root. They're, they are restricted to the common log and ln, so that's actually really cool. Keep moving. Um, the store key. So I have a, a function that I'm going to use 15 times, which happens to be, in this case, maybe 3x plus 7. It could be anything as complicated as you want, but I hit Control Store, and I can save it as anything that I want, f of x. And hit that, and then then I can go back and say, well, what's f of three? So if I'm going to be doing a ton of manipulation, I can do that. And also, just to take that one step further, it also has the such that key. Um, it also has the such that key, and that such that key is right here. Control this right here, and this is such that, and you can make intervals. So I can make an interval, comma x is greater than zero x is less than 7. So if you were trying to look at something, especially a trigonometric function, it becomes really, really good. And the last thing I wanted to show you, which is actually really simple, but it's super helpful. Usually if you're going to make a fraction like 1 half, you put in 1 divided by 2. But what if you had something like x divided by x plus 7. Sorry, x plus 7. You know, wonder, and you're wondering, shit, is that is this x plus 7, is this whole thing under the solidus or just the x? So you have to use parentheses and get all weird. This calculator does something really cool. It helps you to see that you got what you wanted. So I just hit control and I hit the division key. If you look at the blue marker up there, it has a fraction bar. <coughs> and then I can put x, use my down cursor right here, and put in my x plus 7. Sorry, x plus 7. And if I wanted to, I could save that or do whatever or manipulate it in any way that I wanted to. But you can see clearly that this is x over x plus 7. So when you do things like that, it gets really, it's really, really helpful. So those are the things I want to go over with you quickly. I promised myself I was going to keep it under three minutes, and I hope that I have. So hopefully the things that we got, we got nth root. We got variable log bases. We got the such that key, we got the store button, and we got the fraction bar. So I hope those things are good. Practice them, get great at them, and this calculator will do amazing stuff for you. So, hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks.